MacBook is the laptop chosen by many people. So you have more or less encountered when the MacBook cannot be charged how to fix a MacBook that won't charge, if your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air battery is dead and won't charge, or if the charger isn't working properly. If your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air won't charge, or if the charger isn't working properly, it can be a race against time to get everything working properly as the battery dies. In this video, we'll explore possible reasons why your Mac notebook won't charge, and what to do about it. We'll also look at what to do if your Apple laptop won't charge and its battery life is much shorter than Apple advertises. Why is my MacBook not charging? The reason why your MacBook Air or Pro won't charge may be simple. Start with these simple checks to identify the problem. Are you sure the MacBook is plugged in? Unplug the charging cable from the laptop, then plug it back in. Also check the plug socket. Is the outlet receiving power? Try a different wall outlet. We know this all sounds a little basic, but double check before you proceed. Make sure your power adapter is connected properly. Each Apple laptop adapter consists of two parts, the square adapter with its removable plug that connects to the wall, and the charging cable. Pull the two apart and put them back together. What does your Apple adapter look like? Is it in pristine condition or is there any tear in the cable? Has the adapter changed color? Does it look burned out? If so, try a different adapter, make sure you are using the correct power adapter and cable. For example, your Mac might charge via USB-C, but not all USB-C cables are created equal. Some cannot be used for charging. Your Mac may require various types of MagSafe cables to charge there are no less than three versions of MagSafe for Mac. You need to make sure you are using the correct one. See MagSafe guidelines. Ideally, you should use the charger that came with your Mac, including the included power adapter. Speaking of the power adapter is it overheating? If your power adapter gets too hot, it may not work. Make sure it's not covered by anything. Check your MacBook's power port for dust. This prevents the connector from making a clean connection with the Mac and prevents you from charging it properly. The above checks may enable you to resolve the issue, but if they don't work, I suggest you try the next step. Update your software, sometimes a software update may fix charging issues with your Mac. Make sure your Mac is running the latest version of macOS software. Go to System Preferences Select Software Update to check. Find out if your Mac has been recalled, check to see if your Mac has been recalled. Details of the MacBook recall and repair program are available here. In the summer of 2019, Apple recalled some MacBook Pros due to concerns about batteries overheating. Click the link to learn about the battery recall for 15-inch MacBook Pros sold between 2015 and 2017. 2016 to 2017 MacBook Pro models are also being recalled due to a component failure that caused the built-in battery to swell. Your Mac charger may also be part of the recall. Due to safety concerns, Apple has recalled some wall plugs, find out if yours is affected. Reset the battery The method for resetting your MacBook, MacBook Pro, or MacBook Air battery depends on the age of your Mac and whether it has an Intel or Apple chip inside. If it's old enough to have a removable battery, you can actually remove the battery. When done, disconnect the power adapter and hold the power key for 10 seconds. Then replace the battery, then plug the power adapter back in. Restarting your Mac should fix the problem. But it's unlikely your Mac has a removable battery, so how do you reset it? In this case, you'll need to reset the SMC, which stands for System Management Controller the chip on your Mac's logic board that controls power. Reset the SMC, resetting the SMC can help resolve battery and power related issues, however. The process for resetting the SMC varies depending on the age of your Mac. These steps are required if your Mac has an Intel processor. First, shut down the MacBook. Second, connect the power adapter. Third, Press and hold Ctrl Add Shift Add Option or Alt and the Power button for about 4 seconds. Then release all four together. Fourth, press the Power button to start up your Mac again. 
Check if your battery is faulty. As we covered in how to test a MacBook battery. Checking to see if your MacBook battery needs replacing is actually quite simple. If your MacBook battery isn't charging or is draining too quickly, this could be the problem. Click on the battery icon in the menu bar. If service battery is displayed, you may need to replace the battery. Batteries have aged and don't hold their charge as well as they used to. If the above suggestions don't help, then you should take your MacBook to Apple for repair, and maybe even consider battery replacement. The above is the entire content of this video, I hope it will be helpful to you. Or if you have any supplements and suggestions, you can comment below. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you in the next video.